Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to handle alerts in Selenium. What are alerts? Alerts are the pop-up messages which are written from the web browser. There are three types of such alerts. Simple alert, confirmation alert, and a prompt alert where we actually provide some input into the text box. Now let us actually understand each of them. I'm navigating to the Selenium official website. I'll just type alerts in the search box. And now you see a link here, see an example alert, right? So if I click on this link, so you see a pop-up message here, right? So it says sample alert here. It, this is the text on the alert and you see a button, right? Okay button. So this is what we call it as a simple alert where you can only, uh, you know, click on the okay button and we can view some text on it. So this is a typical warning type of pop message. Now, how do we handle this in Selenium? We usually handle any web element on the web page by inspecting the element. For example, if you wanted to right click on this web page, if you observe as there is already an alert popped up, I can't actually click on this web page. I actually can't right click on this web page anyway, right? So if I click on this, okay, then I, I get the right click. You see inspect here, right? But when we actually click on this link alert, once we get this pop-up, right? So if you wanted to, you know, inspect any web element now. So I clicked on this inspect, but you know, see, I can't actually inspect this alert, like how we do for a normal web element. Then in that case, how do we handle this? you know, alerts that we, we are going to see now. Let me create a new class. I'll call my class as alert demo. We'll set up, we'll set the web executable path for Chrome driver system dot set property. webdriver.chrome.driver and I am going to give the executable path here. Right click, holding shift key, right click on the executable, copy as path. Just remove the extra backspace and double quotations. This is how we set the executable path for Chrome driver, right? Now we'll create an instance of web driver and instantiate it to the Chrome driver class so that it actually launches the Chrome browser. Just import web driver interface from Selenium package and Chrome driver class also from Selenium package. All right, once we launch the browser, we wanted to maximize the browser. So let's do that. Maximize. And then what we'll do is we'll navigate to the Selenium official website. We'll take this URL and then once we are into this URL, right? Then we'll actually, you see an example alert here, right? So this is a link text. So we'll actually identify this or locate this uh, link using the link text. And then we are going to click on this link. So first, okay, let's navigate to this URL first. Once we navigate to that URL, we'll use find element method by dot link text. What's the text? See an example alert. Sa sorry. Yeah, see an example alert. Dot is not there, so let's remove that. All right, so we located this element. Dot, we wanted to click on that, right? So we'll click on that link. Once we click on that link, we are going to get that alert simple alert right now how are we going to handle that alert so driver dot we have a method called switch to dot alert which actually focuses the control onto the alert and if you observe this alert method actually is returning alert object so let's capture that into an alert object Okay. 
just import this alert class from selenium package again all right now webdriver actually has the control onto the alert now now we can actually get the text on on the alert so let's actually display what uh, the message on the alert is so alert message alert dot get message get text gives us the text on the alert and once we actually get the text we want also want it to click on the ok button right so how are we going to do that for that we are going to use the method called accept accept is a method which actually clicks on the ok button on the alert now let us execute the program so you see chrome browser got launched it navigated to the url which uh, we gave in the program and you see it has to click on the see an example alert it clicked on it but you know it was very fast that uh, it actually captured the text you see the text here sample alert it also clicked on the accept it was so fast that uh, we were not able to uh, see the alert right so let's add some sleep time here of 2 seconds so that we can notice the alert let us run the program again see it is there and it clicked on the okay right so this is how we can actually handle a simple alert now let's go back if you scroll down we have a confirm alert here so if you click on this ca sample confirm so this is a confirmation alert where a typical question will be there like are you sure you can either choose it you have a choice here either you can accept or you know cancel it okay or cancel right so this type of alerts are called as confirmation alerts now we'll see how to handle this in selenium so this is already done right so we are not going to click on this driver dot find element by dot link text and this time what's the text see sample confirm right click on this or let's copy the text here and we are going to click on that once we click on that we are going to you know uh, web driver it is going to switch to that alert and we are going to print the text which is present on the alert we'll wait for 2 seconds and then we are going to accept or we already saw accept right so this time let's see dismiss so when we use the dismiss method it actually clicks on the cancel button let's execute the program so this time you see are you sure it is on the confirmation alert and it clicked on the cancel so if we use the accept method we already know it actually accepts the alert that is it clicks on the okay button so this is how we should be handling the confirmation alerts so accept method is used to click on the okay button and accept the alert or if you wanted to cancel we use the dismiss method right now let us see the third type third type of alert so prompt alert so if you click on the sample prompt you see there is a text box here and you can actually provide some text into it and then like the confirmation uh, dialog or confirmation pop up you can click on either okay button or cancel button right so the extra thing here is uh, providing the input into the prompt box so this is what we call it as a prompt alert now let us try to automate this driver dot find element by dot link text see a sample prompt let's copy this text provide it here and we are going to click on this link and then we will actually 
you know web driver uh, switches to that alert and we are going to print the alert dot get text so we are going to print the text on that alert so if you see earlier uh, message right alert message was are you sure right so this time it has to be what is your tool of choice right so we are going to see that now we will check that and we'll wait for two seconds and if you observe we are going we wanted to uh, you know provide some input into this text box right how are we going to do that we'll use alert dot send case send case allows us to provide the input into the text box right so send case and i'm going to provide some text into it and then we click on the okay button so i'm going to use the accept method here right all right let us execute now so you see it has to click on that prompt and you see it has to actually provide some input into the that text box and then click on okay right but we don't know whether uh, it actually cleared the existing text and then it actually provided uh, this uh, text right so there was an existing text right so what we'll do is alert dot we'll use clear or you know it has we don't know whether uh, it actually provided the input selenium or not right so what we'll do is we'll actually wait for two more seconds and then we'll accept but if you observe here so it actually there was netscape by default so it was not changed so selenium was not provided into the text box so this is because there is an issue with the prompt alerts in selenium web, uh, selenium web driver with chrome br browser so to check that what we'll do is we'll run this same test case without changing anything right we are going to test this on the another browser so i'm going to run this on the mozilla firefox browser system dot set property web driver dot geeko dot driver so if you wanted to understand why we are using geeko for mozilla firefox you can watch my video on uh, you know how to launch uh, mozilla firefox browser using selenium web driver now let's go back and find the geeko driver executable path we'll copy this path we'll put it here we'll remove the extra brace extra double quote and backspace all right now we wanted to launch the mozilla firefox browser right so what we'll do is firefox driver that's all we are not going to change anything uh, below right right so rest of the code remains same now we are going to execute the program and check how it is going to run on the mozilla firefox browser so you see after 2 seconds you see selenium right so it clicks on okay as well right so which actually proves that the script actually works and there is no issue but it is not running on the chrome browser so there is some issue with the selenium 4 on the you know uh, chrome browser specifically for the prompt prompt alert right so in the, uh, that's the reason we actually ran the code on uh, mozilla firefox browser so in this video we understood what are the alerts and what are the three types of alerts uh, we have and how to actually automate the three types of alerts in selenium that's all for this video thanks for watching